Good afternoon, friends. Look what a, look what a gift I received in the mail this morning. I got my favorite uh, Pioneer Country Gravy Mix Sausage Flavor. A whole there little box of it. Uh, I got a note here. It says, "Enjoy your gift. Hope the gravy is good, and I know you have lots of cats." That one by your door looks like one I had named Twilight. Praying for your victory, St. Jesus. St. Chester, excuse me. From Darlene A. Russo. Cousin Kathy's been by. She left me some uh, homemade salsa. And uh, she's given me some tomatoes here. Uh, we'll uh, continue to let them ripen in the sun in the window. And uh, there are some fresh cucumbers. Praise God for that. Uh, let's see here. What else did we get? We got a we got a thing here to clean our feet on before we come in the door. Uh, praise God for that. And we got some, uh, we got some temptations here. Uh, tasty chicken flavor, uh, under two calories per treat. Uh, that's for the cats. God bless you, Darlene. I love you. You didn't have to do this. I sat down and cried when uh, I first opened it. Thank you for the blessing. Father in heaven, have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sin. Please bless my friend Darlene. She has uh, blessed me, and uh, I pray, Lord, that you bless her. Please bless my cousin Kathy and uh, her husband, Junior. Uh, they grew the tomatoes and cucumbers, and uh, uh, they made the salsa. Thank you for my blessings, God. Uh, please forgive me of my sin. Please bless my friends and family, my neighbors, and our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. We thank you for our blessings in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. It took me all day long, friends. Uh, but uh, I got hooked up with a thing called Canopy. It's going to cost me about $10 a month. But uh, we'll not be, uh, not without some trouble. We'll not be, uh, We'll not be seeing no more porn pornography on my telephone, whether it comes to it or uh, or whether I try to access it. So uh, there's a man on uh, one of them uh, websites that uh, Darlene got me hooked up with, and uh, the people on there said I needed to flee from it, to run like Joseph ran from uh, Potiphar's wife, not, not to try to fight it. <laughs> Or, or they said that they said it uh, the way to do it is to flee from it. So we've got a block on it now. Praise God for that. And we had eight chickens here to start with. I don't know how many there was before they came here, but we're down to six. As a red fox came in the yard back under this morning, and the chickens were flying across the yard through here, and I heard them. And when I looked out the window out there. To the left of that bicycle, that little red fox, he wasn't much bigger than the cat. Had one of them by the throat and run over under the power line with it. He's apparently done being here, and, and, he may, and he'll probably be back. Anyways, the chickens come here, you uh, know. That's the way nature is. That's what happens. Uh, they're not my chickens, and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't build them a pen and a place to, for them to get and put them up no ways, you uh, know. So, uh, anyways, God bless the little chickens and God bless the little fox. Father in heaven, have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sin and thank you for my blessings. Please bless my friends and family, my neighbors and our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. And we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. God bless you, friends. Have a great afternoon.